Now here is the RBB K24 head is all done. Yes, we did this on the previous video as you've seen. Now we need to remove or change the valve guides and of course do the valve job. Here's the exhaust, all done and all good. Just need the new valve guide before the valve job, right? Yes, now it looks really good. And also even here on the deck, it has to be resurfaced so it's clean and good. Yep, and here it is with the new guides. Of course, the valve job is done. Yes, freshly resurfaced deck. Oh yeah, now we're gonna assemble it with a super tech valve train, valve screen and retainers and all the good stuff. Remember this, we poured the skunk to China. We finished it and here's welded. So yep, we'll talk about this. So let's go, let's go. <laughs> Okay, first things first, this is our new page because the old page got, well, my old Facebook got hacked, so I lost control of the previous page, so I had to make a new one, and here's the new one, so I'd like you guys to follow the page, so yep, we got a pinned price list over there for the basic work, like the head porting, even the engine labor, and all the other stuff, and also we update it almost daily with the stuff that we do at the shop, like here, you can see the head, even we talking about the key series and ITB, yep, and see, so now let's go to the head here. Okay, here it's all done. It's gonna be ready. It's getting ready for the machine shop for the valve guide and resurfacing. Yep. And here's the video of the RBB head. The link will be in the description below. And now here it is with the guys all installed and all good. Would you look at that? Oh yeah. And the valve job is done. And also the resurfacing. Yep. So now let's close. Look look at it closer. Yes, brand new super tech valve guys. Oh, this one is gonna be good. It's gonna be real stable and durable. You can see the port wall, the transition into the bowl and the throat is near perfect. Yes, this is gonna be functioning really, really good. And John will make some good jam in Hawaii. Yep, now here, let's look at it here, a different angle. Here's the roof, as you can see the consistent finish. The roof is actually the floor because the head is in red right now. Now here is the port floor. Yes, very, very consistent. Yep. Now let's go on to the chamber. Let's go, let's go. Yep, RBB head. As you can see, the deck is like mirror finished. It's pretty good. And the valve job here on the intake, we actually have, it's a multi-angle valve job because the throat cut and the chamber cut on the intake is all radius and then also the exhaust, but they're also different altogether. So it's like four to five angles. So we just call it the multi-angle cut. We actually use our own cutter. So, yep, this is unique to us. All right, let's check this angle, this side. You can see the chamber is all cleaned up really good. Yep, John will be performing really, really good with this head. His K24 build is gonna be really, really awesome. Yep, now it's ready to, well, it's, we're still gonna inspect it and clean it up a bit and then assemble it. Yep, and of course, here you can see on this side, you can see the valve guides are all good, even the short turn, you can see it from this angle. Yep, and sorry about the glare on the deck because it's mirror surfaced or like mirror finished on the surface, so it's really good. So you can see the bowl on the intake is all good and clean. Yep, the complete valve job done to it. It's just really nice looking at the new valve guide. It's just really, really good and clean. Yep. And of course, if you're liking this video, hit the like button because the more likes the video get, the more activity it has and the algorithm will pick it up and spread it to wider audience. And that tremendously helped the channel. That's such a, such a big thing for me. So thank you for liking it. And if you're enjoying it, like the video. This will be cool for it because it will have a wider audience for us, right? And of course, if you haven't, subscribe. This way you're going to be part of the community. And whenever we have a new upload, you'll check it out and you'll see. And we can continue this discussion on the comment below. So like on all the videos, we always have the comment discussion down below. So that's good, right? So hey, subscribe. This way you're going to be part of us, right? Let's go. Okay, let's look at it closer. Oh, you can see the valve guide is really, really good and new. As you can see on the intake valve job you can see the radius cut on the chamber on the chamber the last part 
you can actually see it's like really good extending all the way to the size of the chamber this is key for discharge coefficient so that's why our cutter is designed how it is so that it goes gives a good flow like this on the induction side of course the intake is the, uh, actually the approach is reversed it's it has to be able to funnel all the expand gases into the exhaust port this way it performs really good it's gonna be really really efficient so yes now there's the rest of the stuff we're gonna assemble it okay wait let's look at it close we got here the super tech valve springs and retainer the super tech spring base for dual springs and of course the titanium retainer and super tech valve seals yep all super tech on this head it's gonna be really good durable and tough yep all right so now we're gonna clean it up a bit and assemble it let's go here we are all good and assembled yes sir yes sir actually we didn't get to record this because you know the stiffer springs was actually you know needed more muscle so you know we just had to do it without recording it yet so yep you can see it's uh, super tech valve seals installed too now let's tilt the head super tech valve springs and retainers looking so good and brand new of course oh wait okay hold on it's hard kind of hard to do this with one hand but okay here it is yes you can see the cleaned up chambers and oem valves always this is gonna be performing really really good it's ready to rock and roll yep the owner john is gonna be making some good jam with this k24 build with this so yep and you see the surface the deck surface is resurfaced really really good and clean it's mirror finished so that's pretty good it's gonna be good for the head gasket ceiling and you can see here the port finish is excellent right yes sir yes sir yep and you can see the chambers are still good right there oh yeah so we don't usually get to show the finished product like this because as soon as it gets done, we assemble it. But this gave us a chance to do this before we have to pack this and send it over to Hawaii. Yes, and look at that. It's all ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And of course, if you guys want to see, this has a full video on we were porting it, the intake, the exhaust ports, and of course, even the chambers. It has all the good details. And it's over here. And of course, link will be in the description below. Don't worry about it. So you can check on that after this video. And now, next up is the Skunk 2 Intake Man for the finished welding. We had it welded by Carlo, our good friend. So now it's all good. You can actually smooth out the welds and paint, repaint it wrinkle black or wrinkle red. This way, you'll they'll never notice it was ported. But this is also really good or looks good, leaving it as is. Yep, so th this will be running 70 millimeter throttle body, so we're gonna work on that. Yes, and of course, this video is over here, it'll also be in the description below. We realized as we improve the content, the views get better and better because this one, for a, after a few days, it's already 3,500 views. So, yep, the better video shows a good explanation. So, now next up is here we're porting this D16 Z6 P08 intake. We're gonna cut it off from here on this area here and up there. Of course, we're gonna do this like an even better content like before than before. Sorry, and we cut it here. This way, we can show you guys that when we cut it the first how it looks unported in raw stage and then halfway through and of course the finished product when we're done and yes we're gonna have that video up next well for next week so yep you can see here it's not even part match so it's gonna be bare, bone stock and we're gonna work on it here we inked it up so now we're gonna saw this off so to show you guys how it is on the inside yep this is gonna get some good good improvements and this is actually owned by earl he's he's a racer in the petron bracket and grid race championships so yet another contender on that sanctioned race went for this so hey they're gonna be performing even better right yep it's gonna be fun and of course you gotta subscribe so that you can see that and of course also if you got some more click here for that